Bye everyone. I'm using my cannon because the battery's dead on the other one because I stuffed up another video. <laughs> but anyway, it is nearly two o'clock in the morning, so I'm getting ready for bed. My bloody hemorrhoid is playing up big time at the minute, so I'm in a little bit of discomfort and pain. But it's not too bad, it has settled. Um, but I do have good news. Mum has a moving date. It's in a couple of weeks. Um, but I don't want to reveal that yet. But she's got a date for that. She's got a date to sign the paperwork. And the lady at this end has actually taken some more of her garden stuff over herself. Um, Mum said she and her ex-partner turned up with a truck and a bunch of stuff. So... Yeah quite looking forward to it to be honest but I am and I aren't I am because I'm going to have family back in town which is just going to be great because um, I am you know my whole family grew up here in North Walsham I am the only one that actually lives in the town now <laughs> I've got a brother that moved out to Sheringham with his girlfriend my dad is out at the village of Backton and my mum, my other brother and my sister, are currently out at Roxham. So yeah, they left me on my own. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, because... I'm probably pretty close to my two siblings that are living with mum at the minute. Closer to them than I am the brother and sharing them, but I won't go in the details. I'll be here all night if we went into details on that one. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm kind of excited. It's going to give me something to do because my stepdad's going to build a whole new workshop down there as well. So I've got that to wire up. So it means I'm going to be out of this place. And uh, I might ask him if he minds if I made some vlogs down there, you know while he's indoors or something because I know he doesn't like being on camera but I thought uh, that might be nice instead of looking at these four walls that's why I've done those videos where I've been out on the canal and whatnot. haven't done the second one because the weather's been crap and because of that problem anyway moving on I have had a bit of a tidy up in this area, as you can see. Um, as well as had a change around. As you know, I gave Mum my Acer laptop, because it was much better than the piece of junk she was using. I think I'm just going to put that piece of junk on eBay or something and get rid of it. Um, but anyway. I just think I might do that tomorrow, put it up on Facebook. Um, anyway, I decided, as a subscriber of mine suggested as well, he said he'd like to see some more um, videos, you know, made with OBS, like some gaming videos and whatnot, so I thought, yeah, that'd be different. So I've set the monitor back up there, moved the HP laptop to here, because I've I do use that quite a lot actually. It's my Skype machine and my um, video editing machine and whatnot. Uh, so that's there. So I am on the hunt for just a small LCD screen to go in there. Now like a small square one, I think what was like 15 inch or something or even smaller, I can't remember now. You know what I mean, just a little square one. doesn't have to be fancy for the job. I mean, if I could find another one that sort of size, that would be great. There's one in a charity shop in town, but I don't have the cash at the minute to go and get it, unfortunately. I think they only want like £5 for it, but I don't even have that. That's how bloody poor I am at the minute. Mind you, I probably wouldn't be if I hadn't just bought... 10 radios, no, 9 radios and 1 cassette player. Mind you, it didn't cost me a lot, but it really didn't actually for that lot. I'm hoping 
They arrive Monday. I don't think they're going to arrive tomorrow because it's Saturday. And they've been posted via Yodel, and I'm pretty certain they don't work on weekends. So I'm hoping Monday. Although I am supposed to be going over to Mum's on Monday. Because uh, <laughs> she had an electrical test done on her um, bungalow. Is what the housing asso all housing associations do that before they agree to an exchange. And I think it's just to make sure that you as the tenant hasn't done anything that will leave it in a dangerous state. And I was convinced, you know, it's going to pass. You know, it's a bungalow that's a year, about a year and a half old, so in theory, should pass. You know. The only electrical work I did was change the outside light and wire up the workshop. And the electrician said both of those were fine. Although, because the Housing Association didn't do the workshop, he had to disconnect it. But that's the only reason he had to disconnect it. But, uh, we are free to reconnect it, which I'll do. I'll do that for the, um, lady that's going to be moving in. Um, so yeah, it failed. But that's not a problem. Um, it's a fault on the ring main. Um, in the UK, it's very common to um, wire power outlets or sockets, however you want to call them, um, in a ring, on a ring main, what they call a ring. Um, simply put, it's basically your wire comes out your fuse box, box rather, goes around all your sockets around your house, like they'll go around all the ones in this flat, although they don't. But I'll explain that in another video. They don't go. It, the ring main doesn't go into the bedroom for some reason. It just does the hallway, the kitchen, and the here in the lounge. But anyway, it goes around and then it goes back to the fuse box. So basically on the circuit you have a live and neutral and your earth wire going into the circuit at each end of it. I can't remember what the purpose of that was for. But that's the common way and apparently there's a break in that ring somewhere and he's got to find it. So he's coming back Tuesday. He's going to be spending a full day <laughs> Well, hopefully he hasn't got to spend the full day, but he's booked a day to try and find it, because apparently he spent two hours the other day trying to find it. Couldn't find it. <laughs> so, yeah, once that's fixed, everything is hunky-dory. You know, it's just a case of signing the paperwork and moving. I'm going to put a bunch of these on eBay again, relisted them. I'm actually going to drop them back in the Ow. In the box. I'm trying to clear my bed, ready for bed. Although I'm not actually that tired at the minute. Oh, here's a car. Oh, I haven't said about that yet, have I? Can I start the video again? Dor <laughs> yeah, I've got some spray paints because I've got a couple of Matchbox cars I want to restore. I want to redo this one that I've already repainted once, but look at it now. It's got a bit beat up. And I really like that sort of burgundy colour. But I've got a green colour I want to try on this one. Once I've taken the paint off. I've got an ambulance that I want to redo as well. Uh, I shifted my black one of these easily, but this thing will not bleed and sell. I've even lowered the price on it. <laughs> Perhaps people just know how crap they are. <laughs> It could be ideal just to give your kids when you go on holiday. Right. Uh, I've got some stuff in storage, actually, till they move. You know, I've got my brother's stereo system right here. Um, and some light fittings that Mum might want. I know she wanted one of these, but I don't know if she'll want that one. I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. I might save it for a car boot or something. 
Or I'm sure I can find somewhere to put it. Maybe my sister would have it. In her bedroom. I don't know. But yeah, there's my brother's stereo. It's going to stay here until he's ready to take it. And he's got a couple of PS2 games for him. And LED bulb I'm going to give to mum as well. Because I don't need that one anymore. Um, these I'm going to change in the house as well. Because... I put some of those LED bulbs in the house where they are at the minute and I want to take those and uh, you know, put them in the new house. So I need to change those and there's a couple of others that I want to change as well because, because it's disappeared. There is a CFL that I want to keep. Oh, I think it's in the kitchen. I'm going to change those out as well. And I need some for the old workshop. Because to try and save on some cash when the new ones are built. Yeah, there it is. That's the style I want to keep as well. Just because I prefer that style. But yeah, anyway. Um, just to try and save a bit of cash. I'm going to take the fluorescent lights out of the workshop where mum is at the minute so it's not going to be used as a workshop by the new tenant it's just storage so I've got some lights that I will replace them with so I'm not going to leave her in the dark I'm not that mean so I'll do that next time I go over I've got the bulbs and everything in the bedroom ready but uh, should be going over Monday, so I'm hoping if the parcel is delivered Monday, it'll be just like the other one was delivered at sort of mid-morning, sort of like, I think it was between 10 and 11 o'clock in the morning. And here's the little light fittings I'm going to use. I only need a couple, but I'm going to take four just in case, just in case I decide to chuck an extra one up or if one of these break on me. You know, I don't want to be sort of stuck not being able to do anything because one is broken. So I'm going to take four. I've got loads of those bloody light fittings anyway, so. It's one of my ideas when I found these at a car boot sale. Oh, they'll be handy. So I think I bought like about ten of the damn things. I think I bought the whole lot that the guy actually had for sale. <laughs> Ah, dearie me. Things I do. I've got some slightly lower wattage bulbs here that I'll put in the workshop. And I've got those brighter ones laying up there that'll do to go in the house to replace those. That's my bulb tester. That's what I actually made that for, to test bulbs. Literally just a lamp holder with a cable wired onto it, you know, a switch lamp holder. That's all it is. Is there anything else on my bed? There's a toy car and another bulb. Another blob. I'm surprised you can actually still buy these. I would have thought LEDs have killed these off, but nope, you can still buy them. And I remember back in the 1990s when these CFLs first came out, they were like £10 or more per bulb. They were insanely expensive. You know, that's probably why for so many years my mum just used ordinary light bulbs because they were cheaper to buy. Some might consider that false economy, but... That's what she did. What do you like in this camera? I don't know what the audio quality is going to be like in a flat with uh, no wind noise and whatnot. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, I remember when they were bloody expensive. And then sort of like the mid sort of two thousands, electrical electric um, suppliers were giving away boxes of assorted of these. You know you first sign up to them and first moved into a property and you'd get a box of these and actually some were delivered anyway regardless depending on your supplier 
<clears throat> and now they're pretty much a dime a dozen, as the old saying goes. You can get friggin' loads of them. It's the same with LED bulbs. They were actually quite expensive when they first came out. And they're actually quite crap. <laughs> That's why in the beginning I wasn't that great on the idea of LED bulbs, because they were crap. They were more for decorative use. But, you know, as time's gone on, <laughs> I've actually grown to really, really like them. I mean, I've got that one on the ceiling, I've got one in the lounge, I've got one in the hallway. <clears throat> Any little lamps I've got use LEDs, you know, like that one up there. That's LED. It's got a candle bulb in it. It's actually got a button. It's actually plugged in and turned on. Wee! <laughs> Yeah, you know, they've, I think they've actually done well. Um, apart from streetlights, I do not like LED streetlights. They are horrible. It's a horrible light. They're two directional down, so they're not lighting up a wider area. Like the old orange coloured ones, which were sodium lamps, I believe. Socks, as they call them. SOX. Um... And when you... I've had... Uh, there, and try again. I've heard a lot of drivers say this. They just hurt your eyes. You're going down the road, you know, and your eyes get them, and they just hurt their eyes. They are... They're awful. I know they're probably... Well, they will be saving the council a lot of money. Low maintenance. Just like the old lamps, because uh, the old lamps lasted bleeding years before they fail and they'd have to put a new bulb in it. Oh joy, it's raining again. There's a surprise. <laughs> so, uh... Cheap on the electric as well, because I didn't know this, but the council actually has an electric bill to pay for streetlights. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought they were just wired to the, you know, the grid network, the national grid. But, uh, no, they actually have a bill to pay. Oh. But yeah, they need improvement. I mean, LED lights in a home like this, they're brilliant. I love them. They're just not working as street lights, in my opinion. As they say, they suck. <laughs> notifications on YouTube. I doubt I'm going to watch anything tonight. Oh, the last thing I want to talk about was uh, My Summer Car, the game. Well, that's one of the ones I want to bloody play and show you guys with OBS when I get the bloody t their dead. Mm. I'll try that again. And when I get OBS to record the way I want it to. Um, but anyway, this glitched the other day, just after I'd saved the game. I'd gotten to the point at last where I could take the car to be tested, get the number plates, whack those on, took the car back to the, the house, saved it. This decides to reboot on its own. I have no idea. I was just sitting here playing the game and then boof, everything went black. Um... And when it rebooted, and um, I'd gotten into the desktop, Firefox wouldn't open. It had broken Firefox, so I had to reinstall that, and my summer car would not load the game save. It, um, it just wasn't seeing the game save. It was in the correct folder, but the game wasn't seeing it. It just was coming up new game. It didn't have to continue there. So... I started again. Wednesday, this happened Wednesday morning. Wednesday night, I start the game again, start rebuilding the car, I think. Yeah, by the time I'd finished Wednesday night, I'd had the engine done and I'd started on the shell of the car. By Thursday night, which would have been last night, I'd pretty much built the car and 
yesterday morning, which would have been Friday morning, took it, got it tested. But uh, I want to show you guys the game, because I like it. It's probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea, because you're building a car. And not everyone's going to be interested in that, but I want to show you because there's a lot of realism in it. Um, I mean, the character you play, you have to pee, or he has to pee, otherwise he will die from a burst bladder. Um, that's what comes up when he dies, anyway. You have to eat and drink, otherwise you can die from both of those, hunger and thirst. Uh, you have to sleep, otherwise you can die from fatigue. I don't actually agree with that one, but I'll tell you why in just a second. Uh, stress, you can die from heart attack if you don't de-stress. There's a couple of ways to do that, but the quickest way is to smoke a cigarette. So yeah, this is quite a sort of 18 plus game because of that, and there's alcohol in the game as well. So it's an 18 plus game, in theory. Um, oh, and there's a dirtiness, you have to go and take a shower, but you don't die from that one. Um, you just get annoying fly sounds all the time. The dirtier your guy gets, the more flies you hear. Um, which didn't bother me at first, because I never played the game with headphones on. But when I was playing with OBS, I was playing the game with headphones on, then I understood why everybody that I watch on YouTube that plays it gets pissed off with the flies. That's really annoying when it's actually in your ear, through your headphones. Um, so yeah, you know, there's a shop that you can go to to buy a few bits and bobs for your car, like the engine oil, your coolant and your brake fluid, which you have to keep topped up on the car. Um, <clears throat> and when you're building the car, if you don't do up all the nuts on the brake lines and the clutch master cylinder, when you go to fill it up, it won't fill up. Um, basically, you just you see you don't actually see the liquid, but when you tip it upside down and hover over the whatever you're trying to fill, you get a little filling, a green bar that should slowly increase. But it doesn't. If there's a problem, it won't. It would sort of go up like a few mil and then drop quickly like that. And to basically simulate it just going straight through, because I did that to me because I forgot one bolt on the brakes. But that's where the realism sort of ended, because it was the bolt that actually holds the brake lines to the car not where it would leak but I presume it was easier to program all the nuts to do that even if it wouldn't cause a leak in real life than it would be to you know not program that one nut to do anything I'm, I'm just guessing I'm not a game programmer I'm just guessing it was probably easier to do it that way um, yeah, you know, you build your car, you have to set up the car, you have to set up the timing when you build the engine, and when the next update gets released, you've got to wire up the electrics. You've got to wire up the lights, front and rear, your radio, I think, um, your gauges have to be wired up, including any extra ones that you've fitted to the car, otherwise they won't work. Uh, the ignition system has to be wired up, otherwise it won't start. And obviously you've got to run the, ba the wires to the battery and whatnot, and the alternator and all of that under the engine. And if you don't do it right, you'll either electrocute yourself or set the car on fire. <laughs> but thankfully, the games I watch that play it are on what they call the... Um, experimental channel, it's like a, a beta thing where you, you can get early access to the updates and at least one of them has already done a tutorial on how to wire up the car properly so 
that's good. I will be referring to that video. I don't think it's actually as difficult as it is. It's just getting it in the right order. Building the car itself is not that difficult in the game. It's just a few things have to be done in a certain order. <clears throat> not everything, just a handful of things have to be done. Like it would be done on a real car, but, you know, you could put all the body panels on first if you wanted to. It's not going to affect the rest of the build. In fact, I did, because the other bit of realism is, you have to take your the tyres that are in the garage to the mechanic to have new tyres put on them, otherwise it will not pass the test. I found that out the hard way because my car failed the first time, and because I forgot to get the windscreen put back in it, but if you smash the windscreen, you take the car to the mechanic and you just go into his office, click on his little form thing, check windscreen and he'll ring you the next day when it's done. Good game. I love it. It can be annoying as hell though, but I love it. And um, what I might do is actually start a new game. When I get OBS working properly, I'll start a new game. So I'll have two game saves. And uh, I hope and maybe um, show you how to build the car and what it entails oh and if you do want to play the game and you are going to build the car make sure when you do all the nuts and bolts up that they're done up properly otherwise bits fall off <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't had anything fall off yet and apparently there's actually engine wear in the car, in the game as well. You can, the engine will get worn out. Um, but again, you just take that to the mechanic, click it off in the booklet thing and pay him and your house phone will ring when he's done. <laughs> it's set in 1995 as well, so there's not really... You can get a mod for a mobile phone. You can, there's a mod that includes a mobile phone, which does actually work. Um, but yeah, set in 1995, your character is meant to be 18 years old, and the story is his parents have gone on vacation or something somewhere, they've gone away and left him alone with the house, basically. <clears throat> if you want to play the game properly, there's jobs you can do to earn cash, like empty the um, cesspits of poop. You get homes that call you up and say, my shit tank needs emptying, you know, come empty. Or you can deliver wood to one guy and there's a couple of other things you can do. You can brew your own booze and sell it to what everyone calls the drunk guy, because he's always drunk. <laughs> you know, all that lovely stuff. Or you just cheat like I did and use the money mod. And just type in however much you want. But then again, I've, you know, restart the game I don't know how many times, so I just can't be asked to do all that anymore. It's just too much. But anyway, I've rambled enough, so thanks a lot for watching. I will uh, talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.